Hello and welcome back to a new video on SketchUp TV. My name is Max and today we are animating something in principle and sketch again. And there are also many other videos which you should definitely check out if you haven't already. The link to the playlist is down in the description below. Okay, and today we will design or animate the transition between these two screens right here. So this is a basic playlist or album or something <clears throat> and you simply hit play to get to the first song. And this is the actual player and I would really like to get a transition between the button that is expanding to this box right here and the difference between these lists, these white elements down below. And we will just start out by downloading this. It's on, uh, it's on Dribble and you can just download it right here. I have it and I just open it up in Sketch. Okay. So here we are in Sketch and what we will now do is to export the relevant elements that we will need for our transition. So for our first transition we basically just copy, uh, just export the background of or basically the whole artboard and the next thing that we will need is the play button but without the background because the background will be done in principle directly okay so we simply just hide all these elements and we are going oh no we have to um yeah no okay i got it <clears throat> we should definitely also export the bottom part as well the content area so this is actually what we will need and we have also the album cover what if I delete this mask Ah, okay here we have it <clears throat> that's just fine that's just what we need so we just uh, export this album package so we just need the album page and export it to our folder destination I got it right here and I just named this album page and there we have it okay the next thing that we will do is to export the content area just go down here make it exportable <coughs> and export the content and we need as I said the play button so there we have it exported and for the next page that we will have right here we just need this bottom area and the elements and the text that is available right here on this orange background so we go into this and we copy or basically export this content album stuff make it exportable and let's just export it okay then we have this area right here and we just need this part so we simply export it to our folder and we also have this line that we can also do in principle but yeah just ex let's just export this for now okay there we have it and now we are going to open up principle <coughs> and here we have different um, resolutions that we can choose from and we can also enter a custom size so we can enter a custom size so what we will need just check it out um, ah, okay I see I basically just drag and drop this ah, okay there we have the size and I just enter it right now so here we have it 
<clears throat> and now we are placing this content area to our first artboard which is this one okay there we have our first screen almost set up as I said we will be creating the round button so just click rectangle so we get a nice little rectangle right here and I would like it to be maybe around this size and we can add a radius to the button to the rectangle and let's just fill it with a different color I go for the color that we have right here which is this one I just copy it over and I go to fill again and I paste it right here okay the next thing that we will add is the play button oops the play button will also be necessary for the second artboard <clears throat> because I, as I said, I want it to be really expanding. Okay, so maybe let's make this a little bit smaller. And let's drag this to the middle again, like this. Okay, there we have it. So the next thing that we will do is to make the second artboard. So I just copy the first artboard and on the second one, um, I want a different content area because we will need this bottom part, then we will need this background music part and this part, okay. So let's just start out by dragging in this content element. Oops. So we can place it down here <clears throat> and then we take our layer, we delete the radius and we drag it down to around this position and we expand it to the full width like that. Then we will need the content for this area which was this one. Just check up that everything looks nice. I think this is a little bit too big, but now it looks better. Get rid of the third artboard because we don't really need that. And let's drag in this music process bar that we have right here. Okay, so this is the content element that we don't really need uh, anymore right now. So we are just able to drag this down like this but as you see we really have some problems here because we don't have this black bar anymore so we just go back to sketch and here in sketch we say we want the nav bar to be also exported because we want it to be laying over the content like this and now we will uh, create a transition by clicking this layer or the button in our artboard and then we click tab and drag it on to the second artboard. Okay, so now we will already see a nice animation between the button. You see that's exactly what we wanted. But we have for example still this uh, play button, this play icon right here and we definitely want to get rid of that and maybe let's also uh, add some other nice transition effects so the thing that we will do is to select the play icon right here in our second artboard and let's get rid of the opacity to the zero percent and we see 
that it is nice, nice by uh, just going to an invisible state, but I would like it to move also downwards to the position of our final um, destination for the content here. So if we click it right now, you see that, it is, that it's now a better effect than just going to opacity 0% by also moving down a bit like that. I would also like to have this um, new music process bar already with a nice animation effect so we are just also able to set this at to 0% on our first artboard. So now uh, we will see that it is nicely flowing into using a nice little transition right here. And the bottom part here as well, maybe we should simply set this down here so now we will have a nice transitioning effect um, oops uh, I see what the problem was they have to really have the same names so now we should have a better uh, transitioning effect and you see this part is really coming down, uh, coming up from the bottom, and the process uh, bar, the progress bar, is just fading in nicely. So if you click this, just look out for the bottom part and for the progress bar, as it's nicely fading into our new artboard. And I really love the way the button is actually uh, transitioning from around rectangle or a full circle to the actual normal rectangle. We can also say we want this to be um, we can also say we want this to be fading in so just copy it to the second artboard and just make sure you have the same positions then set this to 0% and we are having a really smooth animation right here that is just amazing for the purpose that we wanted. We wanted a nice transition between the screens and I think we really found a way of doing that. Let's just uh, try this out some more so we get a little um, impression that or maybe we can just test out that everything looks nice. What I don't like yet is that this uh, transition from that state to this one is showing some of the information that is right here. I'm not sure if I really am blessed with that. Maybe we should also just say that is another way to do it. We want the orange part to be just to the bottom. And maybe we will have a nicer animation there. We can also fine tune the animation clicking the arrow. And now we are able to just look for the different specs that we have. So maybe I will just reduce the time that it takes to get to the new height. So yeah, like that. You see that is a nice fast animation down here in this area and that's what I just wanted. And I think I really enjoy the animation right here. I can also make it slightly bigger for you and is this still possible in principle? Okay, 
Ah, yeah, okay, now we have a separate window for that. So if we do it, if we make it slightly bigger, you can see that the animation between those elements is just amazing. I love the transition between the button and the final bigger rectangle. So, of course, if you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe to this channel if you haven't and give me a thumb up or leave your feedback down in the comments below. Enjoy your day and enjoy the week. Start designing and downloading the files, they are all down in the description. See you guys!